Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with me, thanks for subscribing. I know it's been a while, but I am back and I'm so excited to be back. And I'm most excited because today is a huge collaboration between a bunch of amazing YouTube mamas and I'll leave all their videos linked down below, but they're amazing creators, definitely go check them out. And today we are doing a grocery haul and then also I'm gonna show you what I got my kids for Easter. So definitely make sure you check out those moms linked down below. Let's go see a grocery haul. All right, let's start with produce. We've got a big bag of mixed veggies. I wanna do chicken pot pie, I think. We have my in-laws coming, so this is a lot of food, but my in-laws are coming, so I wanted to stock up on stuff and we were out of meat and stuff like that. So anyway, mixed veggies. I got this huge bag of frozen vegetables from Zares. They had a PC offer if you buy, what am I trying to say? First off, you get a discount. Uh, these were $8.99. As a PC member, I paid $5.99, and then I also got points for every dollar I spent on this. So I ended up getting 5,000 points just for buying this, plus I got the discount. So that was exciting. Got two packs of peppers. We're gonna be doing some tacos and pitas and taco pizza, which I will show you guys in another video, uh, the recipe for that, because it is fantastic. Big old bag of spinach, some strawberries. I got two packs of strawberries. Bread, we always buy the Dempster's Whole Grain, so I got the honey, oat and honey one, and then the multi-grain. And then wraps, again, I got a PC offer for this. Every dollar spent on the PC wraps, I got like a thousand points or something, I don't remember, it was ridiculous. So I grabbed four packs of the whole grain tortillas, because um, as I said, we're gonna be doing my like, tacos and fajitas and stuff like that, so. Um, that's my cat. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I got two oranges. My mother-in-law makes this amazing cranberry orange uh, loaf, which if I get her permission to film, I will try and film that for you guys because it is so, so good. Um, but we need oranges for those. Carrots, always a staple. Some tomatoes for tacos. Two big red onions. Some bananas. And I have a confession. I still another banana bunch but don't tell anyone my son loves spider-man so i wanted to make sure all the bananas that had spider-man on it were like this big like they were tiny then i wanted bigger bananas so we got hulk and spider-man he's gonna be thrilled lots of bananas my kids are really into bananas right now um two green peppers those will be for like pizza asparagus two big cucumbers I'll just try and finish off the produce. And then four lemons. I also want to make a lemon poppy seed Greek yogurt loaf thing. So lemons. Um, I got two packs of the non bread. This is the garlic one. And this one, I don't know what happened. It's like a double pack, um, but it was priced as a single. So hooray. I also had a points offer for that. So I got points for that. Bagels. I found these on the 50% off um, rack. So I will just throw those in the freezer and we can just thaw them when we need them. Got two of the crescent roll, Pillsbury crescent roll tubes because those are for taco pizza. Um, cream cheese for the bagels. Hummus for veggies. We love this roasted red pepper hummus. We like the Costco one better, but this one's fine. That's just from like food basics or whatever. Some feta cheese for, um, I want to make these like Greek salad wraps for a lunch one day, so feta cheese. Pick these up for my daughter. Um, I've just been looking for quick and easy snacks. Now that the weather is getting better, we're going to be doing some picnics and stuff, or like we're going to be out at snack time, so that's those and these. I got her the um, unsweetened applesauce pouches. This one's strawberry kiwi, which she sampled. And then I also just got her the plain apple, which she also sampled because, you know, got to try both. I needed rosemary. I was out of that. That's, I like to put that in my chicken pot pie. And then poppy seeds for the lemon poppy seed bread. Three blocks of cheese. Holy moly, cheese is expensive. Like, it, I remember it going on sale for like $3.99 a block. Plus, they've made the blocks smaller. Has anybody noticed that? They've gotten smaller. I got a marble, a mott, and a gold. These were 
5.89, that was the cheapest this week. Oh, I hate inflation. Mayonnaise, I had another um, points offer for this, so sorry Miracle Whip people. I don't really care, my husband has an opinion on it, but whatever, it was cheap, and I got points, so whatever. Did I say that I got broccoli? I don't think I told you that. Three heads of broccoli, I'm craving broccoli salad, so I think we're gonna do a broccoli salad with all of this broccoli, or at least most of it. Got some more apples, these are massive. I'm like, if I put this in my son's lunch, like he's not gonna eat all that, these are huge. Um, I got some ground beef. This isn't the greatest price. It was $2.99 a pound, but this is a lot like for us. Like we don't eat a lot of beef right now. We don't eat a lot of meat really, but um, for tacos and taco pizza, I wanted to have this. Um, so I'll probably portion this into like maybe three actually. Maybe I'll do three and then throw it in the freezer and we have it ready to go. I got two packs of these chicken hot dogs for the kids. They love hot dogs. That's a really quick and easy lunch for them. And then I also grabbed some chicken breasts. These were for $4.98 a pound. And I know that's not a great price, but I figure with inflation, and chicken hasn't been going on sale recently, actually. This was the cheapest I see chicken here in a long time. So got two packs of chicken breasts. Same thing. I'm probably going to, well, I'm using one tonight and then I'll throw one in the freezer. And then dish soap. <laughs> I hadn't seen this one before, this passion fruit mandarin, and it smells so good. And then I just got the, the regular old palm olive. Oh, and that's not all. No, no. We also got a bag of milk. We're just on 2% now. My daughter turned two, so no more whole milk. Yay. She picked out this yogurt for herself. She loves yogurts. And again, that's something that I can throw in a picnic or, you know, if we're out at the park or something, she can have that. And then I needed some more flour. So I grabbed a bag of flour. I'm gonna be doing some baking. Sparkling water. I'm obsessed with sparkling water. So these are upside down. I didn't mean to do that, but this is the blueberry pomegranate, which is fantastic. And then this one's a new one. It's pineapple passion fruit. That sounded so good. So we're gonna give this one a try and see what we think. And two cases of water. So all in all, this cost about $200. However, I used points at Zares. So I actually only spent, spent $120 at Food Basics and then $85 at Zares after I used $20 worth of points. So, and I basically gained $20 worth of points just today. So I didn't really lose anything. So I figure that's a good deal. Now let's go on to the Easter baskets. So before we start what's in the Easter baskets, I wanted to show you the Easter baskets that I use. So I got these from Walmart last year and I think they're so cute. So this one's my son's and this one's obviously my daughter's. And the thing I like about them is this insert actually comes out and it's washable. So, you know, when they're eating their Easter chocolate and they get their little chocolate fingers on them, no problem. This comes out, washable, totally cute. Also, I love how sturdy these are, like they are wood, um, not plastic, which I kind of like the look of them because you can use them as decor pieces as well. They're just beautiful. So they've held up for the year and we're gonna use them for year two. All right, so of course the kitty cat has to come check everything out, but this is for my son's Easter basket. So random, but he's been really into uh, imaginative play and he wanted like a sword or something like that. And I found this at the dollar store and it's foam, so he can't hurt his sister <laughs> as badly with it. So obviously I'll take this off, but I thought he would like that. I know that's so random, but it's fine. Um, some bubble bath, he's really into bubble baths right now and both my kids absolutely love Frozen. Some little blue bunny ears for him. And then I found this book at the dollar store and it's so cute. These little stories, the pictures are just darling, these little mice. And so I got him this one, You Light Up My Life. It's $4, so cute. I got him these, um, Easter egg sidewalk chalk things that I thought were fun. Obvi Again, I will take this the packaging off so they can't see it's from the dollar store. But I thought these were fun and these are so good for little ones to be able to grip 
um, and color. I find sometimes the sidewalk chalk, A, it breaks when they're like, you know, how they color. Um, these won't break and these should last a while. Like these are big, like they're the size of, well, they're bigger than a standard egg, but those are fun. And then I also, I bought a huge pack of bubbles last year from, I think it was Walmart. Maybe it was the dollar store, I don't remember. But I saved the ones that we didn't end up using last year. So I was like, you know what? I have bubbles downstairs. So put a thing of bubbles in his, as well as these cute little Easter egg tongs. I thought these were so cute um, for dyeing Easter eggs. But also my kids are super into serving themselves at dinner and things like that. So I thought if we have like a salad or veggies or something, they can use these to pick that up and I thought that that might be fun for them it might even make them eat more veggies who knows I will also be getting closer to Easter not right now but I will be getting um from our local chocolate shop like a little chocolate bunny uh to go in as well but I'm not going to get that until closer to Easter okay and then this is my daughter's Easter basket and I should have said my son is four my daughter's two so there's not a lot of like goody like candy and stuff in here just because I don't want them to have all that sugar but got her the same bunny ears but pink and then I got her her own brush. We just have been using like the little baby brush for her, but her hair is so long that I thought it was time for her to have her own brush. And this, I got at the dollar store, but did I, or was this Walmart? No, this was Walmart. Um, and it comes with a comb and a brush and it's just little, like it's perfect for her little hands. Got her the same little tongs, but purple. And then same, it's basically the same things. Um, I got her the pastel uh, sidewalk chalk Easter eggs. So he has the more, the brighter ones. I'll do a side by side so you guys can see. So he's got like the super bright and then she's got more of the pastel colors. And then same thing, the bubbles, got her purple. And then this book, a hug for me, a hug for you, dollar store. Like these are so darn cute. I can't even believe it. Like the, the, pictures are just bright and they're so cute so I don't know I'm gonna look for these I'm gonna see if they have I'm pretty sure they have a couple more but I kind of want to get them like they're just so cute and they're four bucks like you can't beat that so got her that and same thing I will get her a little bunny chocolate closer to Easter as well so then for both of them as like a little joint gift they're gonna get this little painting set uh, these little ceramic um figurines that they can paint um this will be like they can share this and then i also got these um these are like the kinder egg chocolate things um and they're just like little mini like chocolate like that um that i thought i could put in their easter eggs for when they're doing their easter egg hunt because my kids don't like jelly beans or anything like that they like smarties but i wanted something wrapped so that when it's in the egg it's not touching like the plastic so we're gonna try those out all right that does it for what i'm putting in my kids easter baskets i hope you enjoyed make sure you check out all those other mamas down below and i will see you guys in the next video